anybody that has done product photography has run into this issue. You are trying to photograph a product with the intention of capturing it all in focus. When you try to shoot it, only part of it is in focus. Even if you increase your aperture to f22, you still can get the entire subject sharp. What do you do? To overcome this issue, there's a technique called photo stacking. This technique allows you to combine the focus of multiple images into one final image with a greater depth of field than you could achieve otherwise. This is a technique that I consider essential to product photographers as well. We constantly run into this issue. There are just a few things to keep in mind when doing photo stacking. A tripod is very important in order to achieve more consistent results. Since we are going to be combining different photos together, there shouldn't be drastic changes in lighting in between frames. If the lighting changes, you may have issues merging the images together. Your camera should be in manual mode as well. We don't want the exposure to change in between shots. I recommend an aperture of f11 to f16. This smaller aperture will give us greater depth of field and make it easier when we're merging the photos together. There should not be moving parts in the image either. The subject and the tripod should be sturdy in order to avoid inconsistencies in between shots. Lastly, you need a software that can merge all your images together. Photoshop can do this, but an even better software for this is called Helicon Focus. In my opinion, Helicon Focus is a lot faster and works a lot better. Okay, before we can begin photo stacking, I'm gonna frame and light my image. Okay, now that I have my image frame and I did my lighting, I'm ready to focus stack. So I'm gonna set my camera to manual focus and focus on the closest point, um, the closest point of focus to the camera. So I can use the magnification in order to help me find that spot. This is the closest point to the camera right here. All right, and once we're there, we're gonna snap our first image. After that, we're gonna move the focus a little bit backwards and snap our second image. And we're gonna continue this process, moving the focus a little bit back until we, until we hit the part of the image that's farthest away from the camera. I am using a remote control so that I don't shake the camera when I push the shutter. You don't really need this, but it is very helpful. All right, now that I've captured all my images, we're ready to go to the software and merge all the focus points together. All right, I'm going to show you how to focus stack the images with Helicon Focus first. All that you got to do is open up the software and find the folder where you have your images stored. And it's very easy. Literally, all that you have to do is drag the images into the software and press render. These settings um, that are default to the software should work in most of the images that you give it. Once the software finishes rendering the image, all you gotta do is click on saving and then click save and save your image wherever you want it stored. And then you can see that you have a final result that is completely in focus. In Photoshop, the process is fairly simple as well. All you gotta do is 
open up your software and go to file scripts load files into stack and then you're just gonna click on browse and find the folder where your images are and select all the photos that are gonna be loaded into the stack and click open and also make sure to click attempt to automatically align source images and then click ok Once the images load, you're just gonna select all the photos and then you're gonna go into edit, auto blend layers. And you're gonna click stack images and click okay. As you can see, Photoshop gave us a really nice result as well, but it took significantly longer. In Photoshop, it took me five to seven minutes to stack this photo where in Helicon Focus, I did it in less than one minute. So when you have a lot of images, Helicon Focus is a lot better, but Photoshop can do the work. Focus stacking is a great technique to have under your belt. I use it on a daily basis when I photograph jewelry and watches. If you have any questions about this technique, let me know in the comments section. And if you learned something, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.